Nyakundi. Now, before we went on the break, or while on the break, rather, uh, we were talking to about some sentiments from the health cabinet secretary. And if I could take back to News Hour here on KTA News, which is hosted by my colleague Ken Mijungu, Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakumincha said that as of now they have hundreds and thousands of you know interns who want to work for free. Now such sentiments from a Health Cabinet Secretary, do you think that is why there's a laxity in you know trying to come up with a solution between the doctors, the unions and the government? Grace, let me say it's, uh, it's quite unfortunate that uh, we are getting that from a Cabinet Secretary who has been entrusted with the responsibility of taking care of a uh, Minister of Health. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no man on earth who can say, I want to go out there, work for free. Mm -hmm. While uh, the colleagues who have been there before uh, were on a paid internship. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, the CS is rather careless and, uh, and uh, should take responsibility mm -hmm. because she has kept on uh, addressing us from funerals mm -hmm. every weekend from Western Kenya, mm -hmm. addressing healthcare workers as if we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are CBC students, uh, pupils. Because how can you say that uh, you have guys who are willing to work for free? Yeah. Where are they? If they were available, they could be on duty right now. Mm -hmm. Because if, uh, if, for example, I'm Nyakundi, I want to work for free, nothing stops me working. Because uh, if the ministry is willing and I'm willing, then we want to see those guys on the field mm -hmm. working for free. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, those are just side shows. So what we're trying to say is that uh, any health minister has a role to play in trying to avert the ongoing doctor strike. Yeah, the CS should stop addressing uh, us from funerals, mm -hmm. take the responsibility. Mm -hmm. We are talking about a recognition agreement. We have a, a, let, the, we have a letter in our office requesting mm -hmm. for the same. If she could have come to the table and tell us, you guys, uh, in as, as much as we are anticipating of uh, nine issues to be sorted, mm -hmm. this one can be sorted within five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she assembles our staff and the technical officers to do the same. So the, 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 the CS is, is, uh, is not up to the task. Mm -hmm. yeah. And perhaps if I could talk to you about the collective bargaining agreement, of course, we have also had the CS say that the CBA of then, she was not in government at that time. This uh, is a new government. Uh, uh, that, is, this, is that how really it Grace, works? Uh, that is very careless. You can see how a CS is very careless uh, saying that uh, this is a new government. You see, uh, today, I'm a CEO of a National Laboratory Union. Mm -hmm. um, I might not be there maybe in 20 years to come, but I, I have structures. Mm -hmm. Any agreement that has been made between the union and the government mm -hmm. remains an agreement. We don't sign uh, agreements with individuals. Mm -hmm. We sign uh, agreements with office holders. So the issue of telling us that uh, maybe that was the other government and this is not the, what has he done as a, what, what has been done with the new government that is unique? Mm -hmm. Nothing. So what you're trying to say is that once a CBA is signed into this government, it goes on to other governments. Yes, yes. And the ratifications are done. When CBAs case. are signed, mm -hmm. there is no clause that says that this government, for example, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa government, mm -hmm. there is no clause that says Kenya Kwanzaa government will implement this. The government, we only have one government, and that is Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya government. Right. Now, uh, uh, some of your demands also include the revocation of appointment of unqualified personnel. Are there unqualified personnel as you speak at the moment? And how did they even get there? <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, we are in a country where sometimes you wonder, when you wake up, you ask yourself a lot of questions. Recently, uh, around uh, December, the Minister of Health appointed uh, somebody mm -hmm. uh, who is not a qualified registered medical laboratory officer mm -hmm. to head the division of National Public Health Club. And you see, this somebody who can even advise the president mm -hmm. and the ministry. Mm -hmm. This guy is not a, a medical laboratory personnel. He's not a registered medical laboratory personnel. When you try to ask, they tell you, oh, I have a PhD. You have a PhD in what? Mm -hmm. So as a laboratory fraternity, we felt offended. Mm -hmm. so, though the matter is in court, but uh, we didn't have to go there. Yeah. Because uh, uh, today you are a journalist. I cannot bring somebody who has not done uh, uh, journalism to, 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 to hold brief for all journalists in this country. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, we are talking about a very serious docket. A div head of a division of National Public Health Lab. Mm -hmm. The gentleman is very green on matters to do with the laboratory. Mm -hmm. So, as one of the issues that uh, must be met before we call off this strike, that one we don't have any, any, any discussion about it. The ministry should revoke that appointment. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they will be misleading Kenyans in very many things, uh, in matters of diagnosis. Yeah. 
So perhaps as from the lab department, you can tell us what, apart from being recognized, what else will it take for you to get off the streets and go to work? Apart from the recognition agreement, we're talking about this risk allowance. Mm -hmm. That one we cannot proceed because this is money that was in the payslip. Mm -hmm. It was taken away and... Uh, but were you given reasons why it was taken away? No. We, we have tried to write to the ministry. We've tried to write to the Public Service Commission, mm -hmm. to the SRC. We have been taken rounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, Pius. Pius there, uh, just talking to us about the medical laboratory officers that have also joined other unions to uh, downing their tools, telling us that the only reason as to why they'll decide to go back to work is one, if the risk, uh, is, the, if the risk is, you know, in, increased from the current 3,000 shillings. They say it's too little for them, as well as they want to be recognized as other health unions in the country. Thank you, Pius, for sparing time for KTN. Right. On to other news now. Street families residing and scavenging at the Mayungu dam site in Malindi town, Kilifi County.